It has been more than four years since Nicholas Cruz entered that high school in Parkland, Florida and murdered 17 people. And today, the victim's families and survivors packed into court to hear the jury's recommended penalty. They had been hoping for the death penalty. And now many are disgusted that he was spared and will instead spend the rest of his life in prison. They don't believe it. Today, the wrong verdict was given. We are beyond disappointed with the outcome today. I'm stunned. I'm devastated. Outrage today from the families of the 17 victims of the 2018 Parkland shooting massacre. Today's ruling was yet another gut punch for so many of us. The killer, 24-year-old Nicholas Cruz, was spared the death penalty and was sentenced to life in prison. If not now the death penalty, then when? Mm. When? The parents of 14-year-old Alyssa Al-Hadef express their anger. I'm disgusted with our legal system. I'm disgusted with those jurors. The jury foreman says the vote was nine to three in favor of giving Cruz the death penalty. We thought that we were going to get the death penalty today. It's it's so upsetting to hear that, that one individual prevented that from happening. The father of Gina Montalto spoke about his daughter who was slain that day. I see my beautiful daughter's face around our home in my dreams. And I miss her very much. Tony Montalto angrily relived today what Cruz did to his daughter. Pressing the barrel of his weapon to my daughter's chest. Cruz had already pleaded guilty to the rampage that shook the nation. Today, Cruz appeared emotionless as the judge read the sentencing verdicts. But as she continued naming each of the victims, he seemed to get fidgety. The families comforted each other. Several were in utter disbelief, shaking their heads in disgust. As families left the courtroom, hugs and tears. I pray that that animal suffers every day of his life in jail. The idea of prison justice isn't lost on these families. In prison, I hope and pray he receives the kind of mercy from prisoners that he showed to my daughter and the 16 others. He is going to go to prison and he will die in prison. Cruz's lawyers had argued that the 24-year-old is mentally ill through no fault of his own. They claim he was doomed from the womb from fetal alcohol syndrome.